So a while back, Kelly Two Stroke found a John Deere hat when she was looking for her own hat, which she thought blew out of the back of their razor down there where my car's at. That's the pond right there. You guys, it's a little dark because it's daybreak right now. I try to come out early so I can get some walking done while it's still cool. But the status on the hole that I found is no status at all. It's the exact same. As a matter of fact, there's some weeds growing up out of it now. And they never got back with me. I don't know. We're going to dig in this hole, though. So it is what it is. It's about, what would you say, Chris? Four, two, two and a half, two and a half feet wide, or long by about four or five. Ten inches wide. Maybe maybe a foot a, a foot wide at the most. What do you mean? Wide, this way. It's about two. It's, foot. it's, it's, it's about two foot yeah. max, and then this way is probably more like two and a half, three feet. Yeah, maybe four. Definitely a sunken in hole, though. I mean, something a hole was dug here for some reason. I marked it with that when I found the hole. So I'm gonna dig in it. You want to film? Yeah. Hold this and. I want to show my face to everyone, so you know, so you know who I am. Christopher Murray. I'm here with Ty Corbin. Okay. And it's soft. I mean, it's real soft. I gotta be careful because I got a fucked up back. I don't know why. A hole would have been dug here, though. Some dug for some reason. It's really soft still. Not so soft there. And you guys, it's evident that this hole is not big enough for human remains. That's evident. But it's in a crime scene area, and it is a hole. And it's still soft in most of the spots you want to dig for a while. Yeah. yeah. There you go. Are these tracks or horse tracks? Yeah. And they come and they go around this circle right here. This hole. So something's here. See how soft it is still? Yeah. This might be because of the rain that just fell too. Uh, but I, I don't know. It's pretty soft. Yeah. Right? I'm going around it. And you guys, the reason we're <coughs> digging it, I didn't get here anything back from the cops they may have been the ones that dug this hole for all i know i don't know right uh, but the cop took a gps thing said he would send it i haven't heard anything back and it's been well over a month yeah so, it's definitely too small for human remains yeah uh this is yeah this is definitely too small but you never know if he hid something else here or yeah and i'm gonna look this whole area between there and here and over the hill, we're gonna walk it and we're gonna walk it good looking. Anything that might have belonged to Dylan or Brenna. <coughs> so, yep. we're gonna keep looking. It's still soft, huh? Well, no, it's starting to get harder. Is it? Yeah, it's definitely starting to get harder. I'm actually starting to have to scrape. So see that short rise out there, Chris? Yes. So to the north of that, barely, we call that Dirt Mountain. I don't know what the official name for it is. 
that's Pigeon Mountain over there. Okay. I think that's called Little Pigeon Mountain. I'm not 100% sure, but Dylan's actual farm is just to the north of that, where that dirt mountain starts, right before where it starts. Right before it starts? Yeah, there's a road. This this road goes this way, and then Little Pigeon Road goes due east off of it. And his farm would have been off of there, the grain sheds off Little Pigeon Road, the sun tunnels. Have you ever been to the sun tunnels? No. So it's not that far from here. So I just dug all the way down to the hard base, and now I'm starting to scrape. So, yeah. uh... Might actually, not be anything here. I don't think there's anything here. Let's dig out all the soft stuff out though. That end for some reason was a lot softer than this side. See what I mean? If it's a dry hole, it's a dry hole. But somebody dug here for some reason. Yeah, I would say the hole's about three and a half to four foot long by a foot and a half to two foot wide. Is it all hard down on the bottom yeah. now? Yeah. yeah. Then there's probably nothing there. Yeah. So, my hand's in here. Yeah, it's hard. I wonder what the fuck. Well, I don't know. Well, the hole was dug there for some reason. I mean, it was, you saw how it was when yeah, we got here. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. It was sunk in. And... At least it's getting a lot lighter now. All right. I guess off to the next site, huh? We're just going to walk this area from right in here. Yeah. What I'm wondering is if we should just go park down at the pond. And just kind of walk back? Yeah, and walk and back. Walk and back and use, use that as a base area, get my car okay. off the road. Yeah. All right, yeah, Bria. I'll be over there. I'll walk over there. Oh, I wouldn't. Huh? I wouldn't. Oh, absolutely. You're Why not? Walk? That's a, okay. a triple check. All right. Absolutely. Yeah. Is there is there any fences in the way, like bob wire fences? I think so. There's two of them, on, one on each side of the railroad. See down there where it looks like there's that little road? Yeah. I'm pretty sure there's a barbed wire fence down okay. between there and the tracks. Okay. And then well, I'll get through somehow. Another one on the other side. Okay. Oh, they're not that tight of fences. So... Yep. I'd rather just make sure I don't want to miss anything. So I'll choose a direction that I want to go in. What may, may so you're, you're like. going directly to the pond? I'm going directly to the okay. pond where you're going to park. And All then right. I'll meet you over there and we'll walk back and check everything and then do it again. Yeah, I'm just thinking, I mean, if there was a hat found down there, a phone found in the pond, he must have dumped shit in this area. So, and I, we don't know that the hat was Dylan's. They haven't said anything back to us or anything, but... I don't know who the fuck else would have a John Deere hat out there. There was a guy, so that's the pond, and he's, his, I'm not going to name his name. He's one of the, I call him kids, I guess he's about 30, 31, but he's got a place to water the cows that he put right in that area just to the north of the pond, and I'm sure we'll walk over there and I'll show you guys that was done this spring. But the hat that... Kaylee found was partially buried like it was exposed because we had like three foot of snow out here and a lot of ice yeah. underneath it. Yeah, uh, it was quite a bit of snow. So, I don't know. It was evident that there was a lot of hard clay, you know, like what you saw in here, inside the hat when she found it. So, I don't know. I guess the only other possibility is it could have been his hat, but I don't think it would have. We don't usually have winds out of the east here. They're usually always out of the south or out of the We're going, going northwest, from, uh, northwest to southeast. West east or west east to uh, southeast. It's usually how the winds usually Yeah, out here. of the northwest to the southeast. Yeah, something yeah. like that, yeah. So, but this hillside, Chris, this area between there, all of this work, I'm just going to start searching around the pond because it seems like most of the shit was found right here around and in the pond, so... Go ahead and sign off. I'll meet you over there. I'll probably get there before you.